Today's activity is about packet tracer basics. This is part one of the basics of Cisco network simulator called packet tracer. So let's uh, uh, start the software Cisco packet tracer. And I have I am basically using the Cisco packet tracer instructor version. And you can uh, also download the student version uh, of Cisco Packet uh, Tracer software. So here, this is the interface of uh, Packet uh, Tracer uh, application. And uh, this is uh, the toolbar. Okay, and the important uh, thing is the help uh, section. And there are many tutorials uh, that I would highly and strongly encourage and recommend all the students to basically go through these tutorials uh, in order to understand and in order to get your hands on this very uh, powerful networking uh, simulator uh, called Packet Tracer. So uh, try to use or you know go through these tutorials and also go through the you know the the, the help section in details in your free time. So now uh, this is uh, you know the the white uh, screen uh, where you can basically you know uh, make or create new topologies, and on the right side uh, you can see the the select uh, uh, button, and then you know below it is the 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 note uh, place note uh, button. And then you have the other buttons, you know, the delete button and other buttons. We will go through them, through these buttons, you know, in more detail later on. Okay, so uh, if you look, uh, you know, in the in the you know bottom uh, left uh, corner of the screen, uh, you will see, you know, the these are the uh, the devices, uh, internet working devices, and there are many options. And this is the the router you know if you click on the router so you will see a lot of other options different types of routers that you can see and there there are these uh, switches so when when i click on the the switch button it basically gives me you know all the different options of different uh, switches that are available to me and then the hub you know wireless devices and then you also have the connections different type of connections uh, cables and end devices this is uh, you know the different end devices you can have a generic PC you can have an IP phone a wipe device and other other end devices security and uh, and other options I mean you can basically go through all these things you know uh, by yourself so let's uh, uh, let's uh, try to create a small uh, topology so let me let me select the end device and I'm going to select the generic one. I'm going to drag this device on this white screen. So this is labeled uh, PC01 and uh, I'm going to device, I'm going to basically drag another uh, end device, a PC. So it has named it, you know, a PC1. And I'm going to connect these two devices uh, with the switch. So let me go to the switch part. And then I'm going to select this, the first switch. Okay, I'm going to drag it and put it over here. Just to, you know, uh, look it nice. So I have uh, two machines, two PCs and devices. And I want to connect these two devices. And, and, and also, if you, if you see... If I hover my my uh, cursor on on one of the machines, it basically you know a, a display a box just you know comes up. Um, it it gives you the you know the configuration information. And uh, let's just you know uh, skip this part, and uh, you will come to know about this in more detail later on. So let's connect this uh, machine uh, to this switch. So I, I'm going to this uh, connection uh, uh, button. And now I have different options. So I have a console cable, I have a, a straight through cable and crossover cable. Since I'm going to connect the machines to the switches, so I need, I'm going to need a, a straight through cable. 
so when i notice when i when i click on this uh, you know uh, uh, button it basically turns into uh, you know a do not uh, sign uh, uh, option so and when i take it on this white you know uh, screen it turns into a, a connect a connector uh, image so i click on this and now it gives me two options either I'm going to, you know, use an RS-232. This is for a serial connection or fast Ethernet. So since I'm going to connect my PC to the switch, uh, I'm going to select this fast Ethernet 0. And this, you know, uh, there is, you know, this is the, uh, uh, a cable and I can, you know, move around. So and since I want to connect this to the switch, so I'm going to click over here. And now it gives me all the options, all the interfaces, the ports that this switch has. So, and I can connect any, I can basically choose any port I want. So, let, so let's choose this one, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. And uh, now you see this, you know, the green uh, uh, sign. So, it tells it, you know, the link is uh, is up. And notice the other other end of the, of the link, which is connected to the switch. And that is turned, I guess, red or amber, you know, a different color than green. So it's going to turn green after some seconds, let's say 10 or 15 seconds, I guess. And now, as you can see, it, it has turned green. And this basically, you know, uh, tells you that the link is up and, you know, the connection is successful. The reason why this, this link uh, color is, you know, I mean, was uh, amber or, you know, red before, let's uh, i mean it, it's uh, because of there is a protocol that runs in a, in a, in a local area network we call it stp uh, spanning tree protocol and uh, let's not you know get into the details of you know this protocol just you know uh, for the sake of uh, this module um, uh, this is what happens when you connect a machine to a switch it first turns into you know an amber color and then after some seconds it turns into green Okay, so now let's connect the other machine with the switch. Another straight through cable and this one fast Ethernet 0 and I'm going to connect this machine also to the switch. And notice this the interface, you know, the port that we used which is which was fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, it is no more, you know, uh, uh, available now because it, it has already been used. So I'm going to select this, you know, 0 to interface. Uh, let me uh, go to the end devices and let me install also put a server here I'm gonna drag a server so this is a server and I'm gonna connect uh, and I'm gonna also you know uh, use another switch so let me go to the you know the switch part I'm gonna this is the server and this is a, oh sorry this is a switch so I am using another switch and I'm gonna connect this server with this switch this is the cable and straight through cable server fast ethernet and connected to the switch this is zero one okay so now i have to connect these two uh, switches together because i want this machine pc these machines to communicate with the server for that i need to connect these two switches together so i'll go to the connection tab and then if i want to connect these two switches together i need a crossover cable so I select this cable and then this interface and then I'm going to connect this one to the other switch and I can select any interface I want. So let, let, let's select this one. Okay, so now we have created a small LAN topology in which, uh, you know, there are two switches and two machines are connected to one switch, the server is connected to another switch and these two switches are connected, uh, you know, with each other. And now we will see in the next part how the we can basically, you know, configure these two machines. And also we will see how to basically, you know, uh, use or access this, uh, this server uh, from uh, this machine.